welcome to Nursing Behind Bars, the show where we take a deep dive into the lives of correctional facility nurses. Joining me today is Alicia De Jong. Is it De Jong? Yes, that's oh, correct. That's you awesome. did it. Okay. Wow, okay. Shout Usually out. people say De Jong. Yeah, uh, I almost went there, but guess what? Not today. <laughs> Alicia, thank you so much for joining us. It is a pleasure to have you on. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Of course. So tell us, uh, where do you currently work and, and what actually is the occupation you currently have? Okay. So currently I work at the Winnebago County Jail okay. as a nurse. Um, yeah, a registered nurse at the Winnebago County Jail okay. with the inmates. Very nice, very <laughs> nice. So what inspired you to pursue nursing and um, like what are some of the challenges that you kind of faced when you were on that path to where you are now? So what originally got me going with nursing, I worked at a few nursing homes, I worked in wait staff first mm. and I became a certified nursing assistant. I just felt like it would made sense for me to gradually move up to a registered nurse. I always liked helping people. Um, I never realized or never thought I'd be a nurse for inmates, but here we are. Sure. I do have an aunt that works at the jail, okay. and she's the one that really got me thinking about it. She's a sergeant there. So she's the one that really got me into the thought of working at the jail. Very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. You never know where life will take you. you Just watched know. Forrest Gump recently and, you know, <laughs> box of chocolates. But anyways, uh, walk us through how a jail nurse is different from uh, a typical nurse at a hospital, per se. So I would say the main difference here is that for me, um, the inmates is a big difference. For one, I'm not taking care of, uh, okay, for one, how I work is I go into each pod, there's eight pods on one floor, and I have like 60 plus inmates that come up to me, or there's 60 plus inmates in the pod, but I got like 20 plus inmates coming up to me okay. during med pass wanting to get their meds. And the big difference I feel like is that a lot of these people are not like sickly like you would see in a hospital it's mm. a different kind of care we do have different units we do have a hospital unit but i don't usually work on the hospital unit so for me i just feel like um the main difference though is that i can talk to them how i want to talk to them i don't have mm. to be super proper and sure. like super uh cordial i can just kind of do my thing have rapport with these people and nice. just kind of i don't know just get right to it right? just get right to it it's just it's just a different type of environment it's so different than a hospital i can't awesome. even explain it really Okay. okay, so what are some of the, your most interesting stories and encounters at work? I'm sure there's maybe a few. Well, I can say that recently I had a guy, um, unfortunately he's very mentally ill. Mm. We have a lot of mentally ill patients at the jail because there's nowhere else to really house them in the area. So a lot of people are homeless um, and they come to us from outside. And one, this one guy in particular, he got out of jail. He got released on bond. I don't know how, but the judge let him out. And this happened actually outside of work, but it's still a person that I saw that day at work. Gotcha. So I, <laughs> I was leaving the, uh, I was leaving, and this man is literally sitting. He's right here, okay, and I'm uh -huh. right here in my car. I, I hate to him. leave a little cliffhanger, but I think we're gonna have to finish after a commercial break. If okay, that's no all problem. Right with you, but it's I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like the little cliffhanger though. We're good. All right, we will see you in just a second. Some people just don't see the bigger picture, I guess. Little changes can make a big difference. It just means taking a step in the right direction. I want my kids to enjoy this place as I have, even if that means biking, walking, or taking the bus. Luckily, Rockford Mass Transit makes it easy to get where I need to be. That is why I ride RMTD. Steverson Dells, a proud member of the Winnebago County Forest Preserve District, aims to promote awareness of the natural world, fostering respect, enjoyment, and preservation now and in the future. It's important to link people to nature through education and research. Over the winter, Steverson Dells has sponsored several winter wander dogs at various forest preserves. You can't be sure what you'll find, but you can be assured it will be a fun adventure. Steverson Dells, connecting people to nature. You're good. You're, you got a good voice. Hey, and welcome back from commercial break. So I would love for you to just wrap up that story for us really fast if you could. Okay. So the man that I was in the jail that day, um, he got out, he got released on bond. He was on the street. He was walking to wherever he was going. And I was in my car <laughs> and he, I saw him and I'm like, oh my God, there he is. And I was like freaking out because I see him coming toward my car and I'm oh thinking this gosh. man knows who I am. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. I give him meds at the jail all the time. 
Um, but he is mentally ill, so part of the really know what he knows and what he doesn't know, to be fair. Sure, sure. But anyway, I see him coming up toward my car, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's a guy trying to get in my car, so I'm trying to lock the door. And then he comes around, and he goes to open my trunk. No. He tries to open my trunk, and I'm like, oh my God, I couldn't even believe it was happening. But then the light turned green. I sped away. He was still trying to hold on to my trunk. No. He had his stuff with him. He was trying to get in my car. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that is a crazy story. <laughs> that being said, we do have some limited time. You mind taking 10 seconds? I'm talking rapid fire. Run us through okay. what you brought for demo. Walkie talkie from the Winnebago County Jail. This is how we communicate. Narcan in case people need to be sprayed with Narcan because Beautiful. of drugs, which happens a lot. Sure. And then the mask people wear at the jail. It looks They're like a duck bill. Definitely interesting compared to the, the ones I've seen in the past. So, wowzers, I appreciate you sharing these items with us. What an honor to have you on. You guys have a great night, and we will see you next time on this great show. Thank you. You're a legend. You're a legend. <laughs> I appreciate you doing the.